My name is Edward Krumi uh, and I'm from the Eswatini Revenue Service. Um, my specific role is now I'm the head for business strategy and development and uh, mostly my work has been director for research strategy and statistics so that the team of researchers are, are reporting to me. My, my journey with ICTD began about five, six years ago. I wouldn't be uh, sure about the exact number of years, but most of the research we have done has been around tax compliance because as a revenue administrator, you'll understand that we want to improve voluntary compliance because we believe it's the vehicle through which we'll achieve the revenue that we need to do. So we have done research mostly around filing, um, NIL filing, and we have done uh, uh, research around tax morale tax payer behavior and overall it has been about filing and payment compliance and how we can make it better by putting certain messages in, into the tax payers. That's the summary of the research we've done. So what, what we've discovered with the research that we have is that um, first the, the, the behavior of tax payers is centered around um, a few taxpayers. So nil filing, for example, we found that it's centered around a few taxpayers who are repeated offenders in terms of nil filing. But the biggest uh, findings of our research were around tax morale uh, because we did research with the thinking that the behavior of government and, and its spending given our, our country and the situation and our spending, we thought it was the biggest player in terms of why taxpayers would comply and not comply. But what we found in the research that was uh, amazing was that as much as taxpayers do value how their money was spent, it was more how we treated them that, that mattered for compliance purposes. So if we treat taxpayers better, if they get good service with us, then they are likely to comply. If that is pay their dues on time and file their returns on, on time and then that was the major milestone that that was revealed by by the research that we had but we also found that uh, the level of of education and sophistication in the system must be relevant to the people that you are trying to help because if it's sophisticated and the population is not that sophisticated or aware of the technology then it really doesn't work in this finding, like I said, with the tax morale, we discovered that the taxpayers would comply more because of how we treat them rather than the perception they have about government. Then also we found that uh, using the exper nudging experiment where we sent different messages, we found that the scaring message doesn't really work that well on the taxpayers to cause them to comply. Then our conclusion was that service is what's more important to the taxpayer and that was important in the journey of the revenue administration because we already were trying to redo the organization and how we do things and using this research and other supporting research that we have done, it helped us to shape our overall strategy towards a service rather than an authority so we are more supportive to the taxpayer providing service towards compliance because before we used to call Eswatini Revenue Authority and the whole shift caused us to move towards a Swatini Revenue Service which is I was now a service oriented organization that was using service to achieve voluntary compliance so those who want to comply and are willing to comply are, pro are supported properly through service and then enforcement is reserved only for the extremes such that the entire organization is now service focused and, and hence the name change authority to service and that's where research becomes very important in, in terms of shaping our decisions because what we think is not always true but the research will sometimes go against um, your mind and that's where again the work we have done with the ICTD has become very important in shaping uh, not only the research function but the decisions of the entire organization.